Today you're going to learn how to recreate this door transition effect in DaVinci Resolve. In the end it's the perfect tutorial to level up your masking skills in the fusion page of DaVinci Resolve. So make sure to stay until the end because there's a lot of tips and tricks hidden inside this video. For the shooting part you ideally shoot in high resolution like 4K and use a gimbal for the best result. Now all you need to do is record multiple doors where you walk towards them and make sure that your door covers the complete frame towards the end. Hold the lock button on your gimbal so the axis lock perfectly in place. The less you move your camera and the better you're able to keep your door perfectly in the center, the better the outcome will be and the less work you'll have to do in post. In DaVinci Resolve you want to import your clips into your timeline. Trim your clips so you have consistent camera movement. After you applied your color grade you can right click and create a new fusion clip. Open it in the fusion page and place your cursor in the middle where your door is visible. Now you want to select your media in node and hit shift plus spacebar to open the tool menu and search for the polygon mask. Now our image is gone because we need to invert it in the inspector window on this button here. Now you can see your door. Start creating points around it. I highly recommend you zoom in and work really precise on your mask. The goal here is to create as few points as possible. If you need to mask curved shapes, don't start creating too many points because you'll have to adjust every single one of them later, which is a ton of unnecessary work. Just hold down while clicking and drag the handle to create a curved shape. Continue following your shape and make sure to close it. To get the best result, I highly recommend you sometimes invert your mask to see if your shape is really fitting. I know it seems picky, but I tell you, this effect only looks sick if you work really precise. Got it? Okay. Once you closed it, you can see it automatically created a keyframe for us. Now we have to mask out our door for each frame individually. Well, at least that's what a lot of people teach you on YouTube. But actually, this method I'm going to show you is way faster. Instead of masking frame after frame, go to the point in your clip where your door is almost out of frame. Correct your mask there and do the same process like I showed you before. After you are done, you can see the mask is moving between our two keyframes that it created. Obviously, it's not perfect. That's why we go now in the middle and correct our mask shape there again. Remember to be precise and sometimes invert your mask to stay accurate. Now, you always want to jump in between the middle of your keyframes and adjust it there. Do the same on the other side. If you use this technique, you'll see it's not even necessary to keyframe every single frame. Make sure to use this technique until your complete clip is perfectly masked. The part where your door moves out of the frame, you have to guess a bit where it is. Awesome, now play it back and it should look like this. Also check one more time if you invert your mask, if everything looks fine or if you need to correct it. Now we need to get our door, which is pretty simple. All we need to do is select median and our polygon mask, press command plus C to copy it, click in an empty space and hit command plus V to paste it. Now take the output and if you connect it to our output of media one, you will merge it automatically on top. So we have basically a second layer. Let's select the mask of our second layer and invert this one. Now select the media of our copy, hit shift plus spacebar to open the tool menu, search for transform and apply it. There we can animate our door if we change the center values. Let's go to the position where we want it to be closed and activate our keyframe for the closed position. Now move to the position where you want it to be opened and move it completely up. If you play it back, you already created a door opening effect. But let's put our door behind the wall so it looks more realistic. All we need to do is swap the inputs from our merge node because green always means foreground and yellow means background. So right click and press swap inputs and your door is in the background now. Let's hop back in the edit page to take a look. Now you can do whatever you want with it. You can change the speed to your liking or even invert the speed to let your door open or close. Now if you want to fly through multiple doors, all you need to do is repeat this process for the other doors and layer them on top of each other so one clip transitions into the other. In the beginning you saw that I did a door opening with two doors. To recreate this it's the same process. The only difference is that you need to mask out one door on the left side and make another copy masking out the other side as well. Instead of a transform you need the node DVE. Then you need to keyframe your pivot point for each door so it's exactly at the place where you rotate your door. 
After you've done this for the entire clip, you can keyframe the rotation and make the doors open that way. You can spice it up by adding sound effects and some dust explosions. Thanks for watching, see you in the next one.